Activision is some scumbags, bro. This is crazy. I don't know how any of you play this game still who are not making money from it. The only reason why I'm out here is because I love to make Call of Duty YouTube videos, rant about the game, shit on Activision, shit on the community, and make a few dollars on the side as well. Because if there was no money out here doing this, why in the hell are any of you playing this game? I'll tell you why. Because you're a bunch of addicted dopamine addicts, microtransaction, battle pass, buy in tier 3 natty simps that's right that's what the fuck is up bro and that's what's up guys i'm joe i'm wait i have a quick question i have noticed a lot of these call of duty youtubers like yes yes cinnamon and zoo and this guy from australia she doggy why are all these call of duty shills all these call of duty dorks all these dark camo grind and call of duty nerds have lists why is talking to you guys i'm your cinnamon call of duty Seriously, or they're all five foot four balding, fighting it, fighting going bald, Subaru driving cavemen. You know what I'm saying, guys? Hey, guys, make sure you get my 10% discount code for its hair replacement helmet. Oh, it doesn't fucking work because I'm bald and I'm trying to grow my hair long and it's thinning worse than Ethiopian trying to not starve. But Activision, dudes, Activision can go and eat a giant hamburger filled with dicks. What does that mean? It's a hamburger filled with dicks. I don't know. That's a great visual. I'll tell you what also is a great visual. How much Activision likes to slam, 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 slam their freaking Bobby Kotick right up our little sphincters. You know what I'm talking about? Well, no, you don't know what I'm talking about because you know why? I'm here to inform you and that's why you're watching this video. God bless you. If you're new here, you can tell already alpha male, elite game and stub muffin athlete, balls deep only halfway in. Hit that like button right now. I need to have 55,782 likes on this video. Otherwise, I'm coming over to your house and I'm going to give you a big hug because your daddy doesn't love you enough, but I do. I'm always here for you. Ghost of eight. Also hit subscribe. Now, what is going on? Listen, okay. In Black Ops 6 this morning, all of the XP tokens that we earned in the previous Call of Duty, like all the double XP for weapon, for battle pass, and for guns that you can activate, which is also a ripoff because it's not even in game time, it's real time. So the amount of time you sit there spending in the lobby waiting to find a match, your time that you've spent on the XP bonus is just dwindling away like the young and the rest. It's like through sand, through an hourglass, just running out of time and you're doing nothing but sitting at finding a match screen. However, they've made all of those from the previous Call of Duty, Mountain Warfare 3, which is by far a better Call of Duty than Black Ops 6. If you think otherwise, you just fail the litmus test, go get a visectomy, can't be having kids because you don't need more dumb people in the world. But those XP tokens carried over, and I was like, oh, this is awesome. I'm activating them. I've been using some. It's been great. It's been fantastic. And my two box lobbies get lots of XP kicking everybody's ass. And I was like, well, yippity doo dah day. And then you know what happened? Activision is like, damn, no, man. We can't be having that. Nope, the game's broken. The audio's broken. You can pay 30 bucks a month to have better audio here's some battle pass dorky ass woke ugly slop skins and a bunch of morons with no dads will buy because they don't have any brain cells left in because their mom was smoking rock while they were pregnant and they got fetal drug and alcohol syndrome they don't know what the fuck is going on this but it won't speed and bust some calves and have more kids without dads you know what i'm saying <laughs> But they're like, no, we're going to take those away. We're not going to actually have that. Our bad, so sad. Yeah, all the stuff you worked off in the last game doesn't transfer this game because it's such a different franchise now. You're right. You can't have things from the previous game except for all the weapons, all the nonsense, and all the other crap that comes over with the other games to just make it a convoluted, sloppy mess. That transfers over for all the stuff to use in Warzone and whatnot. But listen, you can't be using XP that you earned in the last Call of Duty that you never used up. No, yo, you need to buy it with the $30 DLC once a month, twice a week prescription for having better hearing when you're playing this game because we made the audio horrible on purpose to incentivize people to have to pay 30 bucks extra on top of the fact they paid full price for a game and then want to pay 30 40 bucks for a battle pass to unlock actual content that's held behind a paywall then on top of that here let me break down some for you every time a new gun gets put into the battle pass it's the most overpowered gun to incentivize you dummies to go buy the battle pass and use a good gun and then what happens about two three weeks after this op gun and all the people they look at their metrics of worked their way through the battle pass and not making any more they nerf that and then the cycle repeats itself and i'm going to take it right back and repeat myself like i did at the beginning of this video what the fuck are any of you morons doing playing this dopamine manipulation skill-based matchmaking engagement optimization matchmaking casino of torture why i'll tell you what ghost i'm actually enjoying it cool you're probably a fucking downy all right you just outed yourself in the comments congratulations nonetheless 
I'm out myself here as being the best on YouTube. You know that. You love it. We're now five minutes. I'm asked for a second time. You never did it the first time. Fuck you. Hit that like button right now. Subscribe as well. And that's what's going on. That's what's up. And that's what's up. I'm Adam Ray. This is Kill Tony. What's up? And we'll be right back. Call of Duty franchise is now the biggest piece of shit in gaming history. It's the worst franchise, the worst first person shooter. It's the most manipulative game in the world. If you are playing it straight up, you're not making money off it. I don't know what you're doing. Activision has no respect for their player base and their consumers. All these streamers out here are laughing in your face while you subscribe to it with their Twitch Prime while they're playing in their VPN, reverse boot boosted two box and whitelisted cheating lobbies it's absolutely pathetic the people working on the game are a bunch of moron brain dead liberal victims of operation mind control and mk ultra from the media and their universities which is nothing more than just a brainwashing cult to destroy and undermine the west and now we're here again and it all's coming together and making call of duty which was kind of always a kind of a pain in the ass we've had microtransactions in the past and we had other issues with the casino gambling on supply drops and everything and then it's just morphing into getting worse and worse and now it's just a conglomerate it's like a big crusty shit filled with corn oh yeah what's another problem with the game oh i don't know like and of course we got the communism skill-based matchmaking skill-based matchmaking you know that's just nothing but socialism everyone's got to be on a playing field god forbid that somebody gets their feelings hurt and then they have to leave the game that's also a great example of how people nowadays and kids and gen z and millennials are nothing but a bunch of soft wussies because if they can't do well in the video game, I'm not going to play it. I got to back out the lobby. I'm not going to play the game. So we need to have skill-based matchmaking where only the good players can play together. And everybody who's not good in the game gets to be in the corner with safe spaces and puppies. And make sure they have their genders all right. And make sure we have everyone's feelings are understood. And we have to recognize that, you know what? We have to hear their truths, everybody. And they don't actually ever get a chance to get beat. And that's what's wrong with society today nowadays with most people. A vast majority of people are, you know, waking up. But there's still like 40 percent 50 percent of you which is I don't, not a majority it's close to majority 50 is pretty much equal i don't know mass i'm not chinese not yet but you know we're over getting overtaken over here in canada by a chinese we're getting infiltrated in our election system we actually actual real not fake news russia trump russia no actual china trudeau castro it's crazy it's communism up here don't say anything too crazy on the internet because the gestapo will come to your house and put you in jail like they did to that girl in england because she filmed some stuff and said some naughty words imagine getting thrown in jail for saying words now it's accepted this game's unacceptable. I am an unacceptable human being in the eyes of the system. But you know what? Saman is coming back around. Trump 2024, Elon, RFK Jr., Tulsi Gabbard. This is the reckoning. They're scared. The New World Order, the Economic Forum, the Tao Schwab, the Bilderberg Group, all these people, the reptilian shapeshifters are in deep shit. I'm putting everyone on blast. Activision can suck my ding a -ling. You all can have yourself a great weekend. Jake Paul's going to get destroyed tonight. Probably not. He's going to beat up an old black man and he's going to be going down as the best thing to happen since the 1960s. Wait, what? Stay black. Question for the behind cracker, clean sheep, searches, build movies, hard screen, check tails, seven levels as a job to two cars, seven levels, one lost flat moves, fake, elves on hills, and forces of frogs gate. White man, I'm black, and it's dead. Bring you down.